Hi guys, welcome back to my Save Space Kitchen. I know I've been gone for a hot minute, but I am back and I'm back with a fun video as you can see. Today I'm going to be making turmeric powder. Turmeric powder is very simple to make, believe it or not. So if you want to learn how to make turmeric powder at home, stay tuned. <laughs> So here I have my turmeric. I purchased my turmeric from the international market. Typically that's where you can find it. So all that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and give this a good wash. Remember turmeric are tubers and so there's a possibility that there might be sand hiding somewhere. So I go ahead and transfer it into a bigger bowl and I wash it really well to get rid of any sand that might be hiding. So once that's done, this is what it's looking like. It is nicely washed. So all that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and transfer this into a pot and I'm gonna go ahead and boil my turmeric I boil my um, turmeric because I want to make sure the color is nicely and evenly distributed and also to, just to get rid of that raw smell that comes with turmeric um, once I bring it to a boil I turn it off and then I strain it that water I don't throw it away because that is liquid gold you can I use mine for tea but um, you know that's what I would recommend you use it for so um, I separate it as you can see and then I go ahead and let it cool off completely. Once um, it has cooled off, I'm going to go ahead and stop peeling it. Also when you boil it a little bit, it's easier to peel it. You know, that's if you want to peel it. Peeling it is optional too. Some people don't peel their um, turmeric, but I like to peel it. So. Um, I go ahead and I peel it when peeling you want to make sure you're wearing gloves Okay, and the skins also everything about turmeric is just stains So, you know be mindful of that wear your gloves and make sure that you know You're peeling it into a place where it's not gonna stain. You know what I mean? So um, for me my I didn't want to stay my island So I went ahead and just peeled it into a bowl So once everything is nicely peeled like so I'm gonna go ahead and start you know thinly slicing these um, in very very thin slices like as you can see just like that until everything is done so I'm gonna go ahead and just continue to slice these until I'm completely done So I am done slicing my turmeric and if you can see how my gloves have turned, you see that it has the turmeric has stained it pretty bad, right? So it's very important if you don't want the stain on your hands, then you definitely have to wear a glove. So here I went ahead and I lined my um, dehydrator trays with parchment paper. And I did that because again, I don't want my trays to be stained. Um, with the turmeric so I went ahead and I lined it with um, patch my paper and I'm simply just gonna go ahead and just spread my um, turmeric onto my dehydrator and I'm just gonna go ahead and let this dehydrate now if you don't have a dehydrator it's summertime you definitely can do this outside just sit your um, turmeric on a tray and just cover it up with a cheesecloth and just sit it out it should dehydrate um, with no problems after nine hours of dehydration my turmeric is completely done as you can see it has shrunk up and that's okay that just means that it has dehydrated and it's looking really good so all that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down for a little bit you want to make sure it's completely cooled before you go ahead and grind it so now that my turmeric is completely cooled I go ahead and just transfer it into my blender and I and I just blend it right um, here if you have a stainless steel grinder you want to use that because turmeric will stain your blender and you know it's gonna take a few washes before you can get it out but it will definitely come out it just takes a little while so I just wanted to throw that out there but this is my turmeric and it's looking really good the color is nicely evened out and the texture is just perfect and so yeah this is the end of this video you guys and I know you're probably wondering why go through this hustle when you can just buy turmeric from the store right I just like to experiment with a lot of things and so this is one of the experiments that I did and I'm glad I did it 
I normally will buy turmeric to make my curry powder, you know, curry seasoning, but I'm gonna try it using my homemade turmeric powder and I'll let you know how that goes. But this is the end of this video, you guys. I go ahead and I'm gonna store this in an airtight container and just add it on to my spices. So yeah, this is the end of this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel or if you just came across this channel, this is my safe space kitchen. I make cooking videos and I try to make it as fun as possible. Hit that subscribe subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for sticking it out with me. We are making progress day in and day out and I am grateful for every single one of you. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video.